Boeing and NASA have given the green light for the first-ever crewed launch of the new Starliner spacecraft on Monday, May 6. If all goes well, two experienced NASA astronauts, Barry Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, will embark on a historic journey to the International Space Station, ISS. Preparations are in full swing at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, where Wilmore and Williams are wrapping up their training and undergoing quarantine. The scheduled liftoff is set for 10.34 p.m. on Tuesday, May 7th, from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. During a recent press conference, Steve Stick, manager of NASA's Commercial Crew Program, confirmed that all systems are a go for the Crew Flight Test, CFT. This mission not only marks the first time Starliner will carry astronauts, but also the debut of United Launch Alliance's Atlas VI rocket in this role. Boeing's entry into crewed missions to the ISS comes after SpaceX's successful ventures. SpaceX, which secured a $2.6 billion contract from NASA in 2014, has completed 12 crewed missions to the ISS. In contrast, Starliner's journey faced setbacks, including technical glitches and pandemic-related delays. Despite challenges, the Starliner team has addressed critical issues including problems with parachutes and wiring. With these hurdles behind them, the team is confident in the readiness of CFT. Success in this mission paves the way for Starliner's operational crewed missions, expected to commence in 2025. A recent flight readiness review identified minor issues, which have since been resolved satisfactorily. Following CFT, Starliner 1 aims to transport three astronauts to the ISS. However, this mission's fate depends on the success of the upcoming launch. NASA envisions continued collaboration with SpaceX's Dragon and Russia's Soyuz spacecraft in ferrying astronauts to the ISS. While Starliner has no private missions planned yet, Boeing anticipates fulfilling multiple missions for NASA until the ISS retires in 2030. With the emergence of private space stations, there may be future opportunities for Starliner Dragon and Soyuz beyond the ISS era. Mark Nappy, a manager at Boeing, meticulously follows a detailed checklist comprising almost 90 items related to spacecraft operations. Collaborating closely with NASA, Nappy is dedicated to ensuring the smooth progress of the crew flight test, CFT, for Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. This mission marks a significant milestone as it will be the first manned mission for the Starliner. Having undergone two unmanned test flights in 2019 and 2022, the upcoming mission is particularly critical as it involves human crew members. Nappy highlighted the importance of this next phase, emphasizing the transition from unmanned to manned flights. During the CFT, astronauts will oversee the entire journey from launch to landing, including docking with the International Space Station, ISS, and re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. They will be prepared to take manual control of the spacecraft if necessary, ensuring a safe return. Success in this endeavor sets the stage for subsequent operational missions, potentially within a year. The CFT mission, lasting approximately a week, aims to thoroughly evaluate all systems and procedures with the assistance of experienced NASA astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams. These astronauts, both seasoned Navy test pilots, will play a crucial role in validating the spacecraft's capabilities. Boeing's journey to prepare Starliner for crewed missions has faced challenges, including technical issues that led to delays in previous attempts to reach the ISS. However, concerted efforts by Boeing, NASA, and the astronauts involved have addressed these issues, instilling confidence in the mission's success. Despite the progress made, Developmental flights like CFT carry inherent risks, particularly concerning systems not yet tested with human occupants, such as life support. Nevertheless, NASA remains optimistic, with plans already in motion for future ISS rotation missions. NAPI outlined key milestones to be evaluated during the CFT, including crew comfort, human system interaction, and spacecraft performance during dynamic events like launch and docking. Acknowledging the iterative nature of space missions, NAPI emphasized the continuous learning process 
inherent in space exploration. He drew parallels to NASA's approach with the Space Shuttle program, which saw ongoing improvements until its retirement. Looking ahead, Boeing is poised to transition seamlessly from CFT to preparing for the Starliner 1 mission, with plans already underway to meet requirements and schedules. Steve Stick, NASA's commercial crew program manager, commended Boeing's progress and expressed confidence in Starliner's certification process, anticipating completion by November or December for future operational missions. Stick highlighted the collaborative effort between NASA and Boeing, drawing on their extensive experience with spacecraft certification, including the successful certification of SpaceX's Crew Dragon. Further enhancements are already planned for future Starliner missions, such as software upgrades and improved hardware to address lessons learned from previous flights. Boeing's contract with NASA encompasses multiple missions, with preparations well underway for the initial flights. While prioritizing NASA's requirements, Boeing remains open to the possibility of private astronaut missions in the future, provided they meet all necessary criteria.